What's going on y'all? So I'm going to record this two ways. Um, I posted a picture on my Instagram the other day and a bunch of people were asking, I just got these and I did a video on it. Or I mean, I posted a picture just showing that I was confirming a wheel bearing and then I did another post today showing. So I'm going to do a YouTube video and an Instagram video showing how these noise detection sensors work. I will put links in the description below for everybody for the website. No, this is not sponsored. No, they didn't pay me. I bought these. He didn't even ask. Um, so they're just super cool. And I'm going to show you how to put them uh, on this vehicle. So I'm diagnosing or I'm not diagnosing. I'm confirming. I already have done this actually. Um, but I am going to do this so y'all can see. And then I'll show you the scope as well. So bear with me as I hook this up. Now listen, as I'm hooking this up, understand when you're first doing this stuff and setting this stuff up, it's gonna take longer. Like, because you, if you don't do it every day and you're learning it, it takes time. It takes me time. But the only way to learn it and get better is by setting it up and practicing and using it. And that's the key. And if you're not willing to do that, well, then I don't know what to tell you, but this is where things are heading and you have to learn and understand these things. So I got these sweet little, show you guys these. These are little lead holders with magnets on them, specifically for stuff like this. And then what I do is take like a little piece of blue cloth because I'm gonna have to run this up here on the vehicle and I don't wanna scratch up his car. So I'm gonna leave that right there. I'll, I'm gonna tidy all of this up, but I'm just getting it initially set up here real quick. And then this one, and under my laptop, I have a pig mat, so don't freak out. I'm not scratching his car. Good friend of mine, the last thing I'd wanna do is scratch his car. I mean, I wouldn't wanna scratch anybody's car, but you know what I'm saying. So anyways, Honestly, I don't think he would even care. He's super cool. Um, all right, so we've got the blue leads on the one side, and then we're gonna do this one here. Like I said, this takes a little time when you're first doing it and new at it, but it's all good. Like I said, this is the best way to learn is to just keep doing it. So for me, because I'm in the shop by myself, um, if I ever need any help or have to put a vehicle up on the lift or um, do any sort of like wheel bearing diagnosis up on the lift, I have to have my wife come and help me. And if she's not home, then I'm screwed. Or if she has to drive the car at all or anything, I'm pretty much screwed because I'm by myself, so I don't have any help. So in situations like this, it's perfect to have a setup like this. So then that way you uh, don't have to grab somebody and pull another tech off a job, or if you're by, by yourself like I am, this is great. So I have, let me show you guys how I have this set up so you can see it. And then when I initially set this up, I put it on the control arm, but I'm putting it on the strut now so I have one on the stabilizer link, one on the strut. When I tested it earlier, I put one on the control arm. Now keep in mind, the uh, stabilizer link is attached to the strut and obviously to the sway bar link, which is bolted here. So you are gonna get some echo, but I'm gonna show you. Let me set this up. Please bear with me. Appreciate y'all. This is fun stuff to me, learning this stuff and just getting better at it and practicing. And so I'm using a Pico 4425A. Any lab scope will work. Doesn't have to be a Pico scope. It's just what I have. And then I am going to set my time at one volt and one second each. Stop. And then I'm gonna Raise that, lower that a little bit. All right, so then what I'm gonna do, bring you all over here, let me lay, raise you up, and then let me zoom in here. All 
All right, so that switched to 50 millivolts. So let me switch that back. And then let me make sure. All right, so again, the red tracer is on the strut. The blue is on the stabilizer link. So I'm just gonna show you here. So you can see most of the noise is coming from the blue. Now let me tap the, the red. And you can see there. Now what I'm gonna do is take you for a, a ride and show you. So again, please bear with me. I know these videos aren't always the best and like I always tell you all, I don't edit or anything. And I apologize for that but I hope you find this as cool and interesting as I do. So I'm gonna put this down in here inside the car. And I'm gonna pull this up in here. All right, now let's just go for a ride down the driveway really quick. And as you can see, I've got them tucked up in, so they're not gonna get caught on the wheel. You wanna make sure you have something holding your leads and they're those magnets are super strong. So what I'm gonna do is my goal is, thankfully on this, I can just go down, up and down the driveway. If I was doing anything else besides just going up and down the driveway, I wouldn't, uh, I would figure out a different way to record this and stuff, but it works this way anyways. I had a really bad glare earlier when I was trying to, or a uh, sunshine. All right, here we go. And as you can see, we'll stop that, turn that off. As you can see, there we go. So we can zoom in on that if we want. Not that it really matters, but you can tell that our noise is for sure oops, coming from our stabilizer link. And so normally what I would do in these situations, which I know isn't the most practical and time efficient way, is I would... Um, unbolt the stabilizer links to be 100% sure because I've had struts, especially on Hondas, uh, sound very similar to a stabilizer link and I've been burned on that in the past and so nowadays that's what I do. So this is gonna be a great way for me to confirm 100%. I'm gonna grab a couple more noise detection sensors just to be sure so that way I can have run all four channels and then put them each on a different component and then I can move them around if need be. Right now, like I said earlier, I put it on the control arm and then I had one on the stabilizer link and now I put one on the strut and the stabilizer link. So it's just a good way. So hopefully you guys find this interesting. Like I said, uh, I appreciate y'all bearing with me and there should be more videos like this coming up soon as time progresses. I know YouTube has been slacking. I apologize for that. I will be at the Milwaukee pipeline event. So there's gonna be a lot of content from there as well. So as always, appreciate y'all. See ya.